Hello beautiful people and welcome! Today I'm going to show you how I go from this to this using only five makeup products. I wanted to challenge myself to take my most simplest makeup routine and make it even simpler. If you really enjoy minimal makeup and an easy type of routine, this video is especially for you. I did my base. You guys know how important a good base is for me. I have my moisturizer, my eye cream, and my lip oil. I will say my skin is not living its best life right now. We are in the middle of winter and I don't know about you, but I get super dry and the color has left my soul. I look pale in my opinion. I'm just not too happy with it. It was doing so good for so long and then all of a sudden it's just like, I don't know, but this is gonna help. I really have to say this was a challenge to get things down to only five products. I know it sounds ridiculous because it's like five products is still a lot. Could I go out with just some eyebrow Gel and mascara, absolutely. Half the time I look like this, and a lot of times even worse than this. I wanna do something that's simple, but still looks like it took 10 steps. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna start off with eyebrows. In the last video that I did doing my makeup in reverse, I really feel like that technique has become a staple for me. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Ash Brown. We're gonna plump these, what am I saying? We're not plumping eyelash, eyebrows, we're, we're brushing eyebrows up. I like the control that this pencil brings. It's a really nice control. It's really light, especially with this ash brown color. Very easily blendable, as you can see. I like to move up in very light motion so that it looks as natural as it can. And I kind of just shape around. Does that make sense? As I am using the pencil, I also go in with the spoolie to brush up again. Keep using your spoolie and pencil interchangeably so that you can prevent it from looking really harsh, but really light and fluffy. I like to darken my eyebrows on the end just to give the effect of thicker, fuller eyebrows because I unfortunately do not possess that naturally. And this works for me. I feel like it looks most natural. I think that looks like a definite improvement from what I look like before. I'm sad that I can't use brow gel, but for the sake of the simplicity of this, we're gonna go ahead and move on to concealer. I'm trying out a new concealer today because I'm really excited about this. I don't know if you guys have heard of this brand, Sayi. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. They've been everywhere. I feel like they're like the new, the in, the hot, the now. They sent this over to me to try out. This is their Hydra Beam Brightening and Hydrating Under Eye Concealer, which I need right now, especially because it's winter time and my skin is super dry. This is in the color HB3. Like the container, it feels like quality. You can tell that this is a higher end brand of makeup. It's really, really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this here. Put it here, put it up here, because this gives the appearance of a tightened face. This feels like a moisturizer. Like this concealer doesn't feel like a typical concealer, which is really freaking me out a bit. It feels like moisturizer. That's so strange. I'm gonna go in and cover all my little uh, blemishes that I have. This um, technique that I like to do when I um, put the concealer right here, it helps highlight your natural shadows underneath um, your cheekbone, I guess that's what you would call it. It helps with the contour line, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna be very generous in applying this because I'm not using foundation at all today because we only can use five products and foundation didn't make the cut. Concealer, you better fix my life. Let's go ahead and blend this out with a damp beauty blender. I like how it blends, it's nice. It blends really nicely for a concealer. The last video I did, everyone was kind of mad that I um, even put foundation on in the reverse. But the thing is, is that the concealer that I used before was so splotchy that I had to put something on my face to, uh, to kind of make it blend together or something because it was so splotchy. This is not splotchy. I don't know if you can see the difference, but when I'm blending it in, it's actually blending into my skin. This is really nice, especially if you're just doing like a one and done kind of makeup look. This is like really beautiful. They did a really good job with the formula. Yay! I'm actually gonna take um, my Sephora 64 brush to just kind of give it a nice blend out too. It's sufficient with the, the beauty blender, but I just kind of want to do an extra blend, especially like I said, because we're not doing any more like foundation or anything like this is it. I do want to also put the concealer underneath my um, eyebrow line because I usually do that 
to help enhance that eyebrow line up there. I'm taking my flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics to help blend this out. This concealer is so nice and blendable. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with bronzer. Now this was something that I was really trying to go against because I was like, do I really need bronzer in this really simple makeup routine? If it was not winter, I would not need it at all. But because it's winter, again, I lack color in my face and it's hard for my shadows to pop, that natural contour line to come through. I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite, the Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer Stick. I feel like it's all I use now. I think in every video that I've shown you guys, this is all I've been using. There's nothing like a good contour. I really love a contour because I feel like it really helps change the, the shape of your face. And even if you're not really into makeup or you don't like to do too much, contouring can do so much. So I think that's also why I wanted to just do the bronzer and put that into this routine because I really feel like out of all things that you can do for your face, a really nice light contour is super, super, super helpful. I really like to define that in the cheeks. There's a surgery that you can do to remove the fat that's in here so that you can get more of a, what is that, bu buccal fat? Is that what they call it? I've been seeing it all over TikTok and you don't have to remove no fat, just, just do this. <laughs> and then when we did the concealer, you see how that line is also highlighting that as well. It just works in tandem. I also like to put it underneath here to help with that jawline, to emphasize the jawline because who doesn't want a nice defined jawline, right? This stuff is so blendable. If it's one makeup to buy, um, I would definitely invest in this bronzer because it's so blendable, so easy to use and just wonderful. I like to um, bronze this part of my face because naturally whenever light hits my face, this is where the shadows are. If ever you wanna know where you need to contour, Take a light, shine it on your face, and see where shadows hit, and that's where you wanna put your contour. We blended all that out. I'm gonna go ahead and take that Sephora 64 brush again. It's such a great blending brush. And I'm gonna go around and blend all over again. There's one place that I wanted to make sure I um, do bronzer that I completely forgot about right now. I'm gonna actually put bronzer in the creases of my eyes without having to apply shadow. So I'm using it for multi-purposes. I'm gonna give my eyes a little bit of a shadow. It adds just a slight something. Second to last product that I'm gonna use on my face is I'm gonna use blush. I decided to use blush because I feel like blush is just such a universal makeup binder. I don't know if that makes any sense, but to me it does. I love blush. This is the MAC Like Me Love Me Mineralized Mineralized blush. There we go. I'm going to use my 125 BH Cosmetics brush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. I just love what blush does to the face. Look at the difference. Just brings you to life. I couldn't get rid of blush. I couldn't get rid of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my nose. Again, like I said, I love to kind of emulate the summer and whenever I do my makeup because that I feel like is when I look the best in the summer. And then take this same blush and I'm gonna apply it as my lip balm. Now I have lip oil on, so this makes this process super easy. So if you don't have lip oil on, it's gonna be hard. But when you do, it makes it super easy. I just take a little bit like that and I dab my lips with it. And it gives me a nice like peachy color that can be built upon. It looks very subtle, which I like, but it also gives you that color in your lips. So I'm using lipstick, but not really. See what I did there? The finishing touch of this entire makeup look is mascara. Of course, I could not get away from doing mascara. So um, this is not considered a product, but you can take off points for me if you want to. I'm gonna curl my lashes before I do my um, mascara. If that's like a little too much for you, that's fine. But I've been loving curling my lashes because I apply a lot less mascara on my lashes when I curl them. I've been using the Lash Serum from Grande Lash for the past couple weeks and my lashes have grown so much. It's wonderful. I love it. Hit the bottom. I'm gonna do a light second coat and there you have it. Five products that I used on my face. That's it. Five products, five minutes or less, I feel like. 
I could have done that in less time. I'm glad that I had you guys challenge me because I was reading my comments in my simple makeup routine or my everyday makeup routine and I was like, this is not simple enough. And I'm like, you're right, it isn't simple enough because here I was saying, oh, it's simple. And it's simple to me because I am a makeup artist and I do a lot of different looks and makeup and I don't realize that like not everybody is used to the amount of makeup that I wear so this is something a little bit more simple I really liked how everything turned out I feel like it's all very cohesive I'm absolutely obsessed with this new concealer it's very very hydrating I feel like my skin has an extra layer of moisturizer on it which is really strange but it works I like it all in all what do you think you like it? Do you think it was simple enough? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it helpful and thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out. I do want to say a special thank you for hitting 20k. I posted it on the shorts and my story here on YouTube. 20.8! now which is exciting i can't believe my family here on youtube has grown and i'm so grateful to have you so i just wanted to give you a special thank you for that and yeah thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video